Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to our science class today. I'm here joined by my assistant Zeus again, who is more preoccupied with the plant than he is about being a good assistant, so we'll leave him right here for now. Um, today we're going to learn about mixtures and solutions. Now before we can get started actually looking at what those things are, we've got to start at the very beginning. Matter. What is matter? Well, matter is pretty much what all of us are made of. Matter is everything and anything that takes up space and has a volume. I am matter and I do matter. Zeus is matter. This plant is matter. Anything here that takes up space is matter. One way uh, that we've been used to classifying matter is typically our three states of matter as we've done in science before. Typically we've had um, our solids, our liquids, and our gases. Now I don't have an example of that. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have any here from my friend. Um, but that's our, our main way of looking at our states of matter. But today we're going to look at it a bit of a different way. We're actually going to break it down into two very simple things. We're going to break it down into pure substances and mixtures. Well, a pure substance is pretty easy. A pure substance is just any matter that is made of just one thing and one thing only. It's made up of itself. So a good example of that could be if we're looking at something like silver. Take this spoon for example. This spoon may have more, but silver itself is only made up of silver and silver only. So it's a pure substance. Um, something else, like simple salt. Okay, Salt is sodium chloride or NaCl. This is simply uh, a, a compound, which we'll talk about a little later on, that is just itself and itself only. Whereas a mixture is made of multiple different parts. Take this soil in this plant, for example. The soil that we have in here is not just one thing. There's different parts to this mixture of soil. The dirt, there's different parts of fertilizer in here. All these things are mixed together in one to make it a mixture. Now, to really dig deeper into each of those, we'll start with a pure substance. So really, actually, a pure substance, like I said, it is one thing and one thing only. However, pure substances can be broken down and actually into two main parts. Part one is quite simply an element, okay? Now an element is a pure substance that is found on the periodic table of elements. Now if you look right here on the screen, you're going to see the entire periodic table of elements right here. Now all of these things on here are, are pure substances but elements because they are just made up of one thing. Okay. The second thing we can look at are actually compounds. Now compounds are, are chemical combinations of two or more elements. Okay. So for example, like I mentioned before, table salt. Because this has sodium and chlorine in it, it becomes sodium chloride. It's merged chemically at a chemical level, it's formed salt. Or think about something as simple as water. The chemical compound is H2O. Hydrogen uh, and oxygen are chemically combined together to make water. So those things are still just, just pure substances because I can't separate the sodium and the chlorine out of this. I can't separate easily the hydrogen and the oxygen. So these are still pure substances. So when we look at a mixture, you can have something called a mechanical mixture or a solution. What a mechanical mixture is, and I'll get an example here of my Lucky Charms, one of my favorite cereals, okay? Lucky Charms would be an example of a mechanical mixture. As you look at the Lucky Charms here, you can see there are multiple different parts to it. The marshmallows, the main parts of the cereal. When we put them out, we can identify each individual part as all pieces of the mixture together. Right here we've got the main grain pieces. We can sort it just into the marshmallows or even further into the different individual marshmallows and grains. So that means a mechanical mixture is just a mixture where you can see all the different parts. The second thing we're looking at are solutions. Now solutions are mixtures still, they have lots of parts to it, except you can't see the different parts of the mixture. In Lucky Charms we could see those are parts this year, the marshmallows and everything else, but in the solution they're so mixed together you don't see them anymore. So a good example of a solution would be something like shampoo. Okay, 
Shampoo in the back has lots of ingredients that have all been mixed together in here. And if we were to take this and when we were to pour it out, as we can see now, it's impossible to find all the different pieces of this mixture. They're all blended together and we couldn't pick out one part of the other. So as you can tell in there again, that was the solution. So the biggest difference between the two of them, just to really hammer this point home, in a mechanical mixture, you can see all the different parts of the mixture. Your eyes can see everything. Another example that could easily be something you know, like trail mix or this coconut mixture I have here, where it's got pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, chia seeds, everything mixed together, but I can see all the different parts. Whereas something also like peanut butter, when we look at it, we only see peanut butter. So it's not a mechanical mixture because there are so many different ingredients inside here that we can't see because it's been mixed together. That makes this a solution. So to summarize the big learning from our little lesson today, when we look at the two ways we can separate matter, being pure substances and mixtures, Pure substances are made of one thing and one thing only. They can be broken down into elements and compounds. We've got mixtures that are made of more than one thing, and mixtures can be broken down into mechanical mixtures where we can see everything, or solutions where we can't see everything but they're still mixed together. So that's the big key ideas from today's lesson. Uh, Check back for our next video, learning a little bit more about how we can separate mixtures and the flow chart for that. Other than that, uh, have a great day. 